This is an animated supplement for Chapter 14, Devil's Den and Hawk's Ridge, from the book Our Fathers at Gettysburg by Jack Kunkel. On the late afternoon of July 2nd, General Ward's brigade was deployed on Hawk's Ridge, which was directly in front of Little Round Top. He was supported by Captain Smith's battery. Smith had four of his cannon on top of Devil's Den and two more back in Plum Run Valley. Soon another Federal regiment, the 17th Maine, advanced across the wheat field near the right of Ward's line. Ward angled the right side of his line out slightly to connect with the 17th Maine. At around 4.10 p.m. on July 2nd, Confederate Division Commander Hood launched his first two brigades against Little Round Top. These brigades headed directly east, driving back Federal skirmishers from the 2nd U.S. sharpshooters. Hood was soon wounded by artillery fire, and the attack began losing some of its cohesion. Robertson's brigade began to split up, with two of its regiments heading towards Hawks Ridge, while his other two regiments, the 4th and 5th Texas, headed into Plum Run Valley. Meanwhile, in Law's brigade, Law shifted two of his regiments, the 44th and 48th Alabama, from the far right of his line to the far left of his line. The 4th Alabama continued on with the two Texas regiments, while Law's two other regiments, the 47th and 15th Alabama, continued heading directly east towards Big Round Top to deal with Federal skirmishers there. This video and chapter deals primarily with the fighting around Devil's Den and Hawk's Ridge. The fighting on Little Round Top is discussed in a different chapter. Federal Brigade Commander Ward deploys his line out in Rose Woods, well in front of Hawks Ridge, and at an angle, attempting to take advantage of the support on his right from the 17th Maine in the wheat field. Somewhat off track in the confusion and smoke in the woods, the 3rd Arkansas drifts far to the left of the original line and ends up being confronted by three of Ward's regiments plus the 17th Maine firing into its left flank. Ward's men attack driving the Arkansas unit back into the mushy ground around Plum Run. But the Arkansas commander refuses his left flank to protect him from the fire from the 17th Maine, and then counterattacks, pushing back Ward's line, which is somewhat weakened anyway when Ward shifts the 99th Pennsylvania away from that sector and over to the left of his line to protect Smith's cannon. While the 3rd Arkansas is fighting mostly in Rose Woods, the 1st Texas of Robertson's brigade strikes the triangular field directly in front of Smith's guns, which had been blasting the Confederate infantry since their initial advance. Under Confederate artillery fire themselves, one of Smith's guns is disabled and removed to the rear, leaving only three on top of Devil's Den. However, Smith can't depress his guns enough to strike the 1st Texas, so he generally continues firing farther out leaving the 124th New York to deal with the Texans. The New Yorkers attack across the triangular field, driving the Texans back, but the Texans rally on the opposite end of the field and deliver a withering volley into the New Yorkers, driving them back. Meanwhile, in Plum Run Valley, the 4th Maine clashes with the 44th Alabama, as well as the 48th Alabama, which is farther to the left in the timber. The 4th Maine commander refuses his left flank to protect it from the fire from the 48th Alabama. Though the fighting is furious, so far the Federals have held their ground, but everything now changes as Benning's brigade arrives and slams into Devil's Den, the Triangular Field, and part of Hawk's Ridge. Also Anderson's brigade now arrives, triggering vicious fighting in the wheat field. As his line begins to falter, Ward sends out desperate calls for help. From the Wheatfield area, two Union regiments, the 6th New Jersey and 40th New York, answer Ward's call and come racing into the Plum Run Valley. The Federal's position is becoming desperate. Smith is forced to abandon his three guns on top of Devil's Den as Confederates from the 20th Georgia and 44th Alabama swarm. He then races back to the other end of the valley and takes command of the other two guns, firing down the valley into the charging Confederates. The 4th Maine rushes back on top of the rocks to prevent themselves from being outflanked. Meanwhile, the 15th Georgia joins the 1st Texas in attacking the 124th New York and driving it back. 
Now into the valley comes the 40th New York and 6th New Jersey, with the New Yorkers in the lead. Facing the New Yorkers are two Georgia regiments, the 17th and 2nd, and also the 48th Alabama is still in the timber, continuing to fire into the valley. The 40th New York attacks several times and seems to be holding its own, but finally the entire Federal line on Hawk's Ridge crumbles. Ward gives the order to retreat, and the Federals race in disarray across Plum Run and up Little Round Top. The 40th New York and 6th New Jersey are required to follow, and so the Confederates here, in terrible fighting, have taken command of the Devil's Den area, but not Little Round Top. For much more on this battle, including descriptions by the soldiers involved, as well as photos, illustrations, and Google links to the actual battlefield locations, please refer to this book, 